The NCAA says it may reconsider where it hosts major sporting events, events amid debate over LGBT laws and policies in many of its host cities. Denver 7 reporter Jason Grenauer found out if and how this could impact Denver. Well, and the men's basketball tournament is set to tip off this March here in Denver, bringing with it about seven million tourism dollars. Now, while the future of cities like Indianapolis and Houston may be up in the air, would the NCAA consider pulling out of a place like Denver in the future? When the NCAA tournament comes to the Pepsi Center the weekend of March 17th, it will bring with it eight teams, thousands of fans, and millions of dollars. But a simple statement from the NCAA to the Indy Star newspaper puts question marks behind future host cities, including Denver. Quote, we'll continue to review current events in all cities bidding on NCAA championships and events, as well as cities that have already been named as future host sites, the statement read. Debate over anti-discrimination laws has made headlines recently in two NCAA cities, Indianapolis and Houston. Colorado has one of the most comprehensive uh, non-discrimination uh, laws in the country that protects both uh, gay and lesbian people as well as transgender people. Meaning if the status quo remains, the state shouldn't have any worry of the NCAA reconsidering Colorado or any backlash like in Indiana. But there have been proposed bills in the Colorado legislature that would provide religious exemptions, just like the Indiana law that sparked national controversy. And that could affect the NCAAs in Denver and well beyond. We could anticipate the same kind of, of scrutiny that we saw, uh, that Indiana saw. Now, Denver has been the hotbed for anti-discrimination law before. In 1992, Amendment 2 was passed that did not give any protection against discrimination based on sexual orientation. That law was eventually overturned in 1996 by the Supreme Court. Eric? Thanks, Jason. Uh,